today we're going to make some Mexican soup or taco soup or however you want to call it. Uh, mine's not going to be the traditional uh, taco soup that you see because I'm just going to use what I have. I don't have ranch dressing uh, mix today and I don't have, um, um, well, I'm just going to show you what I do have, okay? Well, the first thing we're going to start out with is with some beef broth and I made up four cups and I'm going to do it in the crock pot today. And the kind of broth that I'm using today is this right here. You just mix it up yourself. Okay, that's my favorite kind that's a powder. All right, so to this four cups of broth, I'm going to use one of these Spanish rice. Right there. And you usually have to cook that with about two cups of water. And it has... Um, a taco taste to it, you know, those same seasonings that's in there. Okay, and I've made up my own beans. I've, I've been making beans all morning, so I made up my own beans, and I probably did the equivalent of two cans, but I drained them, okay? So here's my beans, and I'm just going to go ahead and stick my beans in there. And four cups of broth might not be enough, I don't know, but I don't really like a watery soup i like a hearty soup so i'm wanting it to be a uh, real hearty okay so i got that in there and then if the other night you watched our live we made enchiladas and i've got some ground beef already seasoned and we seasoned it with this you can also use fajita seasoning when you're making the enchiladas but we've had that then and we've got oh probably a little less than a pound of meat and it's already cooked because it was just left over. Stick it in there. And then um, I've got some tomatoes that I canned and that's them. I'm not going to drain those. Those are just some tomatoes. Nothing else in there, just tomatoes. And then I'm going to put a can of Rotel in there. You can have cornbread with this. You can have crackers. You can have tortilla chips. There's our can of uh, Rotel. And then I'm going to put a can of bl sliced black olives. Paula Dean always puts olives. She calls for olives in her, her taco soup. She does black and green, but I don't think I'd like the green. In there so I'm gonna do the black and I'm not gonna drain those I'm just gonna stick them right in there it's like that that gives it a pretty color and then some corn and I'm gonna use frozen corn sweet corn and I'm gonna use probably about a cup and a half if you want to use canned it would probably be two cups or two cans I don't usually measure I just stick it in there so I'm just going to pour it probably about a cup and a half or so okay and then I think I'm going to put just a dash or two more of this in there just because, um, you know, when you make regular taco soup, you do a whole package of um, the taco seasoning. But since I've already seasoned my meat and then that rice is seasoned, we don't want to overdo it. All right. We always got to have onion and garlic. So I'm gonna do some garlic, probably about two cloves worth of garlic. And I caramelized up some onion, a whole onion beforehand. I don't like, a, I don't want a crunchy onion. This is only gonna have to be in this crock pot for about two hours. This crock pot cooks real fast. So put my caramelized onion in there. And 
And I think that's all the seasonings I'm going to do. Um, so we'll turn it on high because that corn is frozen. Now, I may need to um, add some more. Let me show y'all. I might need to add some more beef broth because that rice is going to drink it up. But for now, I'm just going to let it cook like this. Don't that look good? It's going to be good, too. Real good. Put a lid on it. I'm probably going to end up having to add at least another cup. Maybe two of uh, beef broth is what I used. And then we'll top it. When we go to serve it up, we'll top it with some fresh jalapenos, or if you got avocado, you can do avocado, or you can um, put some cheese on top and, and have you some tortilla chips. And I think homemade is better than, than the store-bought chips, but we'll see what happens tonight. Or cornbread. So, all right, I'm gonna put my lid on and I'm gonna let this do its thing for a couple of hours and we'll be back to show y'all. And I'll let you know if I needed to add more broth. All right, y'all, it is ready. It's been going for about two, two and a half hours. I did not have to add any more broth. So four cups of the broth was, was really perfect because I like mine, like I said, uh, let, me, let me show you. I like mine, like I said, kind of hearty. I mean, there's plenty of juice in there. See that? That's, I really don't want it any more watery. Now, if we have leftovers, the rice will probably continue to swell. And then when you warm it up again, you may want to add a little bit of broth. But I'm going to go ahead and dip me some out. And make some. And do my toppings. We've got some jalapenos and I fried up some corn tortillas because those are just better. And of course you got your sour cream and your cheese. So we'll just put a little bit of cheese on there and then we'll put some jalapenos on here. Of course, all of this is optional. Uh, dollop, you gotta, can't, can't have this without a dollop of sour cream in my opinion. And of course your, your chip. And that is your wonderful, delicious taco soup. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. Y'all give it a try. And check out our Facebook and Instagram. We've got a we got a Facebook page, an Instagram page, Boots and Bonnets with Chris and Christy. Check them out. And we'll see you next time. But until then, keep looking to the east. Bye-bye. No. Mm. Thank you.